I came across an image online a couple of days ago. A fun little cartoon where Gomez Adams enters the bedroom and a thing evacuates Morticia's nether regions and legs it away. It was funny, and I get what the artist was going for, but come on. Gomez Adams would totally allow his best bud to start up his Carramilla before taking over himself. That's just the kind of beautiful freak he is. Perfectly fitting the character. In fact, I bet a lot of our most beloved childhood cartoons were freaks in their downtime. For example, Olive Oil and Popeye. Now, you know that Olive was in it for the fisting. You don't date a man with pontoons for lower arms if those arms are not going in your fudge factory. I support this theory on the fact that Bluto, Olive's other suitor, also has arms that could double as redwood trunks. I've seen the cartoons, I've read the comics. There were plenty of successful, thin-armed gentlemen to choose from. But no, not for Olive. She needed to get her stuffing. I'm not even going to touch the incest-filled interspecies shenanigan that goes in the so-called clubhouse of one Mickey Mouse. I just... no. So we return to the quiet American suburb, where Dagwood and Blondie live their lives in happy matrimony. And they've been hitched since the 30s, so we ask ourselves, how come they've stayed together for so long? Well, this drift can answer that. Yep, you guess right. Food sex. Smearing each other with nine kinds of toppings and I don't know, wanna know what kind of bread. But that's not the only thing keeping them going. Because due to Dagwood's passion for heavy sleeping, Blondie can enjoy a rich smorgasbord of lovers. Herb for quickies. Mr. Ditters for those financial troubles. Mike when she needs a trim, and of course Tootsie to relieve those experimental days from her college years. But while Dagwood might look the other way with his wife's dealings, a couple that is heading for disaster is Jogi and Cindy Bear. For let's not forget that during his bachelor years, Jogi had another relationship with one Bobo Bear. Platonic friendship, you might think, but I'm here to tell you that Cindy is one bad day away from being served with looted green and garlic sauce to Jogi as a special dinner from his jilted lover, Bobo. But all of these are pretty easy to figure out if you think too long about it. What seems to catch most people from the left field is Bamse, the strongest bear in the world. This hugely popular Swedish cartoon where sex, racism and the holocaust were laid bare for every six-year-old that wanted to pick up the comic book. But the thing is, Bamse is too good to be true. He forgives his enemies and is basically a small furry brown Jesus in a blue hat. But when the cameras are off, so to speak, there is no way he and his wife just hugs for an extra long time. No, my friends, that's when the crazy shit happens. Now you know.